Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our March 2020 Mitsubishi L200 2.2 DID, 150 brake horsepower, six speed auto, Barbarian X double cab. So top of the range. And we also have a genuine Mitsubishi canopy on the back, the hard top with the pop open windows and it has a touch sensor release for the lock. The car's covered just 33,600 uh, miles approximately with full service history, which I can show you in just a second. So we're gonna use this video to take you all around the vehicle and show you the condition and some of the functions on the vehicle. Now, as always, the whole vehicle has been machine polished uh, the same as all of the vehicles here to a very high glossy finish uh, just to present it as nice as it can we've also fitted a couple of optional uh, or sorry accessories the bonnet guard to the front and then the wind deflectors on the side which aren't just there for the looks they are actually very helpful the wind deflectors on the side especially if it's raining and you want a bit of fresh air in the cabin now we'll come in and uh, look around the front of the vehicle. Uh, lots of LED lights there. We've got front and rear parking sensors. But if I bring you in really nice and close, it's not peppered, all the headlights, it's very, very clean. And ownership, uh, there's two owners, but the last keeper literally only had the car for a few months uh, and then decided to take the option of a company vehicle. So we were lucky enough to purchase the vehicle from him. I think some people are getting deals with their businesses that they work for, for electric and saving a bit of money sometimes. Now we've got 360 cameras on this vehicle, one being right down there at the front. But if you look at all of the trims and the gray section, the chrome section, there's no damage. And then if I come up onto the bonnet, which has come up really, really nicely, there were some very insignificant, like less than a millimeter stone chips, which we've just very gently touched in, flattened and machine polished, but they're hardly visible. And there was only just a, a small few dots, if you like. But if I come across really gently, there's no bird dropping stains or anything like that on the paintwork and it's got a beautiful glossy finish. I come up high, there's nothing at the back of the bonnet there. And the windscreen, again, it's not peppered and chipped, there's no damage. While we're here, I'll show you up on top of the roof. Really nice and clean up there. And the top of the canopy, which also has these um, roof bars uh, to take, uh, uh, roof rack bars basically. Now if I come back to the front, one of the views I like to show people is down the side of the car. This is where you get to check out that all the panels are true and there are no ripples, as you can see, no ding dents. It's not had any previous paint work. The side steps are all in lovely condition. And we'll do the same on the other side. So I'll just come down low. Now if we again zoom in gently, see how true those panels are. Not had any previous damage or anything like that. It's a very genuine vehicle, which is exactly what you want. I've just found the car behind me. <laughs> just backed up into it. So let's just have an overall look around the vehicle. Really nice looking vehicle, especially in this color, because the silver trims and the stainless or chrome really sort of goes well with the black. Sorry, trying to concentrate here without bumping into anything. There we go. We're going to come in and look at the wheel. So it's running on 18 inch alloy wheels, all of which are in perfect condition. 
no marks or anything on there. I'll show you the back one. Again, immaculate. And then on this vehicle, we also have, and I'll show you the paintwork around here. We've got the fuel flap and the add blue flap. And then the keyless entry, that'll lock the car. And then again, to unlock the car, pop out windows. So they just pop out at the back. We'll show you more of that when we open up the tailgate. If we look from the rear of the vehicle, no tow bar has been fitted to this vehicle as yet. So you know it's not been doing any towing, which is probably a, quite a nice thing if you're buying a used vehicle. You can always fit them, or if you'd like us to get you a quote, we can do that. Rear parking sensors, and we've got that bar underneath down there, bit of support. Rear camera. There's also cameras under the wing mirrors. Now if we look across the back of the tailgate there, the Barbarian X, there's no nasty marks on there. All of the rear bumper and the top of the rear bumper, all in really nice condition. Just show you the wheels. Have I done the wheels on this side? I think I'm going mad. I've done so many videos. Let's just show them even if I have done it again. I don't think I have. There we go, both wheels. And there's the cameras are just up underneath for the 360. If we look at the top of the side step, it's in such lovely condition. Right, let's take a look in the back. So we've got, there is a key flap here and we've got the key for this. But with this one, if I could do this right. Oh, I think I've locked the car by accident. So this does work on the central locking as well. And that's a press pad or finger pad. And that's popped straight up. Now if we look all underneath there, all in really nice condition, all the rubbers. There's a bit of PF tape running along the top here for a bit of added protection. Now if we bring the tailgate down, we have these springs on the back that essentially lift the tailgate down smoothly. So if I just lift that up again, we can let go and then just that falls down nicely. So that's an accessory that's been fitted. Now we have a mat in here. All underneath is really nice and clean. And we've got this added mat, uh, rubber mat that is. And then if I bring you in close, the interior is like a sort of carpet finish. Nice and easy to clean out. Toe eyes on the side. In fact, on this one, you get uh, toe eye just here. I say toe eye hooks, anchorage points, one there and one at the front. So you've got six in there in total. And the front window is a sliding opening uh, window there. So you can get airflow through the back of the vehicle. We've got an interior light. Let's try and give you a view from either side. No damage as you can see. So basically this vehicle has no VAT on it, and no additional VAT, because it wasn't claimed back by the previous owner. And it's just been used for sort of like recreational stuff, really. It's not been used as a business vehicle. If we come down and look at the inside of the tailgate here, you can tell by the condition of it, it's not had any hard use at all. Fantastic, so let's put that back up. That goes down and let's move on around the car. 
So we'll open. So I think what we'll do now, we'll go to the passenger side. Sorry about that. Let's just move around. I'm going to open up. Ah, just spotted one thing. We've also got the blind spot monitors. I don't know if you can make out. There's a little logo. There it is. See that logo? So basically, if a car's in your blind spot, that will flash orange to let you know there's a vehicle there. Now the interior on the Bar Barbarian X is uh, pretty special really. It's really nicely fitted out, especially on a pickup truck. The, some of them can be quite boring. Uh, I think we've got a premium or upgraded sound system. All of the door card is in really nice condition. We've got blue lighting just underneath for puddle lights. Gloss black trim here. And then if you look down, we've got the Barbarian X logo. That's all lit up in that uh, seal, foot seal plate there. All of the dash. And we've got a lead in there for a phone at the moment because I want to show you the um, how the navigation works, etc. So manual seat on this side and you can see from the level, we've got like a suede in the middle contrasting stitching but all of the seats in really nice condition We've got side airbags on there as well I think I'll show you more of the front when we come round I will just show you down here just how clean this is because a lot of these vehicles can be quite sort of scratchy and scuffed like I say this one hasn't been used for any sort of building work or anything like that. It's just been like a recreational vehicle. So let's take a look in the back now. Starting with the door card on this side. All in really nice condition again. All the way down to the bottom. And then if we've got those nice sturdy sort of um, stainless steel seal plates. And these are to protect the paintwork from getting scratched with shoes that might have grit on and then as always we've got these handles to help you get in and out the vehicle all of the headlining is in really nice condition no it's not dirty or anything like that there's no nasty odors it's all really nice and clean again all the carpets even underneath here we've got all the blue lighting let's just put that back straight <laughs> and then the seats we've also got isofix if you need to put a child seat in the back. Really nice padded sort of seats, free headrests there. We've got a, a centre belt there like so. Armrest and we can actually release the seat forward. And then behind here, we've got the brace and a bar and the jack down there all lovely and clean behind here that clips back and then down here we've got a little cubby hole and then two usb ports really handy for the people in the back to charge their phones or use their phones without losing any battery Let's come round to the passenger's, uh, sorry, driver's side rear. And again, you know, it's, it's really tidy and clean. It's a lovely vehicle, this. And there's no damage. You know, it's, it's as good as any car, really. Which is quite hard for a pickup truck to be so tidy. Lovely and clean under there. It's not got anything there's nothing really to point out no damage no scratches um, god no there's nothing nothing bad at all it's all in lovely condition let's open up this side now right let's see if I can flip the lights off just for a second right driver's door card now this obviously is the one that gets all the use and again, no damage, no scratches. 
all of the window switches. And come down and got the blue puddle lights there as well. And then on this side, really nice, some very, there's virtually nothing there. There's a couple of hairline little tiny marks, which you'd expect on a vehicle three years old. Fuel release there. And then you've got the lane distance warning switch, collision switch, your headlights adjustment, your wing mirrors, your start stop button. Now the other thing we get on this Mitsubishi is paddles. Now you don't get that on the Hiluxes, you've got an electric seat this side as well. You don't get that on many of the vehicles, the, the pickup trucks. I love the little details, the Barbarian X stitching in there as well. And then the steering wheel, nice and thick, uh, nice quality lever as well. It's perforated if you look at the condition of it as well. And the center's lever. And then you've got your cruise control switches on this side. And then the switches on the left there do the screen in the center. While I'm not in the vehicle, if we release this down, we've got our four-wheel drive system, nice and easy to use, two-wheel high, four-wheel high, four-wheel high LC, low, locked diff maybe that is actually, and low, low locked, and, and four low locked. So you can, I think that's locking of the diff, I think, but I uh, might need to check that. Right, we're just going to jump in. Probably easier if I start her up. Now, is that because I'm... Oh, okay, that's fine. So, 33,664. Now, uh, let's just check. Source was on that side. Just trying to remember. Okay, so. Press the voice recognition button once to use the built in voice recognition, or press and hold it to use your smart. Okay, so that was that button. Right, so the buttons, as I say, on this side here and source will change the screen over here. I'm just going to go into home, Android Auto. Lovely, so Dan's phone is actually just down beside me and uh, we've put his phone in because you can use like uh, all of the apps on there. We can use Google Maps, so Android or Apple and you've got all your various different, I'm not used to using the Android, but there you go. All of your apps there that you need that, that link basically or you can go back to Mitsubishi and this is the Mitsubishi system dab radio USB iPod we've got Bluetooth streaming of course uh, HDMI connection we go to home we can go into settings and uh, across the top here we've got sound settings music type so the sound system is quite a nice sound system I can't play it because YouTube won't uh, allow it sound brightness contrast system phone function bluetooth information there's a little um menu going across the top there the clock i haven't used that one yet there we go i think we've been all through here yeah so we've pretty much done all that and then we can go back to there so as i was saying we've got the paddle so minus on this side and the other thing i noticed we've got the adaptive lights or the high beam so that'll be probably for the main beam on the vehicle we can have it so it automatically dips the main beam and it also if i just come in can you just make out 2a 2h so two all high for the gears and if i can get this in a better focus i don't know if i turn the lever there you go four wheel high 
and then yes it looks like diff lock can you see it flashing in the middle there so the next one is different and you generally have to move for that to lock in i'm just going to turn the four-wheel drive back to where it was now now i've done that i'll probably have to put the car in gear just roll forward and then roll back there you go can you see that and that's how you take it out you need to be moving just slowly for that ah uh, i realize now so to move the display in the center here let me just zoom out it's the buttons on the steering wheel here these ones I checked all this before I got in the car and it's amazing how quick you can forget where the buttons are. So you can go through all of the different menus on there. Like so. God, it's very, uh, I'm back to trip. Right, over to here. So the center console. So we've got um, dual climate control all of the display and the black gloss all around it is in really nice condition. There's no scratches. Um, so that we can adjust the temperature either side. I think it might be in synchronized at the moment. So it is in synchronized. We can change the mode as well. And uh, this will warn you uh, about seat belts. And then we've got the blind spot monitoring button here parking, heated steering wheel, another nice function, turn off the stop start, your alarm, and then we've got two USB ports down there, an HDMI port, and then the heated seats, which we've got high and low. And then again on the gear shift down here, we can use it manually to change gears. You can see, come in nice and clean. We've got hill descent, and then I think this one here is for rough terrain. Okay, so if we put it into four wheel and then press that one, not available in two way, so what's that for? Um, let's turn it round. Oh, no, that's for uneven ground, I think. So let's just go to the next one. Okay, it's not available because I'll probably need to be in a certain position for that okay center armrest has a nice big deep cubby hole cup holders you can see how nice and clean that is and then we've got all of the books in there As I say full service history two of them with Mercedes uh, sorry Mercedes Mitsubishi just gonna pop the bonnet and get one of the guys to open it up for me if they've remembered so just looking around inside which we've pretty much already done but up here we've got glasses holder but nice LED lights as well and then auto dimming rear view mirror so let's jump out I will just turn it off now because otherwise I'll have to shout over the top of the video. So round to the engine bay. So really nice and clean under here. Big turbo there on the side. Common rail diesel engine. So basically it's a common fuel rail which works under high pressure to atomize the diesel into very uh, a very fine mist, which is much more combustible, better fuel economy, uh, better performance. So all the sort of latest technology on the engine, as I say, 150 PS, I think it is. Uh, so probably about 147 and a half brake horsepower. I'm sure this can be remapped probably to something like 180, something like that, with a, a tune on it if you need a bit more power. All lovely and clean up there. So a very, very well looked after and tidy vehicle, including in this engine bay. 
So let's pop this down. And we'll just drop that from there so it nicely closes back onto its fastening lugs. So there we have it. Our Mitsubishi L200 double cab Barbarian X with the Mitsubishi canopy and a few other accessories in lovely condition, lovely service history, good ownership. Any questions, please get in touch. And uh, I believe the warranty on these is five years. I will check that. So basically, if you need to know more about that, give me a call and we'll run through that. We do have lots of finance options if you need finance. So thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Hope it was helpful. Take care. Bye now.